everybody. Hi, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Regina Jonas or this is Nas Regina. Karibuni sana to my YouTube channel. Today, as usual, I have a nice or a health talk to share with you. Just to motivate, to encourage, to give somebody hope somewhere. And this is Nas Regina. As I have said, if you're new here, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on the red button to subscribe. Always share my videos. Like and always leave a comment on the comment section to make me grow in the direction that you would like me to grow. And so today, uh, yeah, uh, I just thought like I could come up with a talk on how to motivate, to encourage mothers who have gone through a difficult time of having premature babies or having to deliver early before the nine months are over. So as you all know that this is quite a challenge some babies can be born really 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 small and it becomes so hectic so overwhelming so demanding for these mothers and so i thought like as a nurse i'm going to encourage somebody somewhere share experiences share stories share real experiences of what i have come through uh, with mothers who have had such small babies in my in my time so this is nas regina channel please as you go on click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my youtube channel and also click on the notification bell so that you are notified whenever I'm posting a new video. And yes, so what is our, a premature baby? Or premature babies are babies who are born before term. And before term means before the nine months are, are over. Some babies are born as early as six months, seven months, eight months, yeah, before the nine months are over. And you find that such babies or babies who are born at that gestation or that period, uh, it's quite a challenge to bring them up because they are not yet uh, uh, grown enough to survive outside the, the, the environment, uh, to survive outside the uterus. And so you find that it is so overwhelming for such babies, uh, for such mothers with small babies as small as one kilo, as small as 900 grams as small as 800 grams because I have seen babies of 700 grams and eventually they grow up and become Big to go home with their mothers and they become big people big kids just like other other normal children and so I've had to nurse such babies several times in the nursery or uh, Yeah in the nursery they are born as early as eight months, as, as early as seven months. And remember, these babies are not yet term or they are not grown enough to survive outside uh, the uterus because a normal baby is born always at nine months. And this is the time when the baby, when is born, is supposed or is able to survive outside because the lungs of very small babies are not yet matured. And so they have what we call the respiratory distress, most of them, when they are born. And it is quite a challenge because most of them end up being nursed in the ICU for some time. They end up being in, on oxygen for a certain period. They end up being on intubation because they already distressed or they have that stress uh, factor in one way or another. And they are not able to, to breathe well or spontaneously by themselves. And so you find that... Such mothers with babies as young as that, or uh, as small as that, are challenged, or they have this overwhelming experience upon them, and they are, they have so many things that they are demanded to they are demanded to meet so that they are able to help this baby grow also in such conditions, and because the the born babies at that gestation is not a wish. It is something that really comes up because the baby has somehow to be saved maybe or the mother has to be saved at that period so the two have to be separated by being delivered at that age and of course there are some things that are already done investigations are done like the scan to confirm if this really baby if this baby can really survive after delivery uh, for example you check their kilos you find that good enough they are maybe one kilo 1 1.2 1 1.3 and you are sure that this kilo weight or the weight of this baby is good enough to get them to survive uh, outside. What's up, Banji? Yeah? Hello? Yeah? 
So you find that the small babies are delivered by CS or cesarean section mostly because it is an emergency. For example, a mother might come with a very, very, very high blood pressures that are uncontrolled. No matter what you try to do, the blood pressures, they don't respond to medication. And so they end up being delivered as early as that period because uh, somehow they have to survive uh, outside to save the mother and also to save that baby. And so they end up being delivered by a cesarean section or sometimes if it is a premature labor that just comes spontaneously or just without any known factor then the baby comes down and is delivered normally and you find that this baby still is small for gestation or has this very low weight and they have to be managed under monitored or monitored under uh, closely monitoring in the ICU or in the, in the nursery. So you find this mother has to stay around the hospital for quite some time, some period, nursing this baby alongside the doctor and the nurses. And some of them really are, it's really a burden on them because they have to be in the hospital practically like every other day, every other day for one month, two months, or even three months because we don't know how this baby is going to grow from day one until the day they are discharged and normally a good way to discharge a baby home with normally is around 1.7 1.8 or even 2 kgs kilos because at that time the baby has already been taught how to breastfeed that baby has been taught how to feed on a cup that baby has been uh, investigated on all factors and is a stable baby now to go home and be able to survive and grow like the other babies and now at that time is when you have that challenge also of going home with a baby who is very small has been in the hospital for quite some time you don't know how to handle the baby and you find that it's all a challenge from the day one to yeah onward it's always always a challenge so uh, just to encourage them it is always good maybe the family to stand up uh, with them, to stand uh, behind the backs, the, the spouse, the mother, uh, the sisters and the brothers, just to encourage her that yes, it is a journey, but it is worth it. Because this baby, once they are delivered and they survive over uh, the first few hours, like 20, 24 hours, 48 hours, uh, three days, then you know like, yes, this, this baby is, some, this is a fighter. This baby is going to fight all the way. And so the doctors and the nurses put more effort on how or on whatever means they have to do to make sure that this baby is going to grow up and go home as a stable baby. So you find in the ICU they will be put on the monitoring, close monitoring on those machines. They are, sometimes will be put on oxygen continuously, they will be put on fluids and then at some point is when they are required to start feeding via the nosogastric tubes and at some period again they will start feeding by the, uh, by the cup of the bottle through the mouth and it is really a gradual and slow process and of, of the growth of this baby and so you find the mother and the whole entire family even the husband the entire family is just overwhelmed because it is a long long stay in the hospital because a normal mother delivers like today and over 24 hours they are discharged home if it is even is a cesarean section in three days, four days, the mother is always discharged home. And so you find that her, she will remain in the hospital. She's going to be always there like now and then, now and then. And it can also be depressing in a way because I have seen mothers who have really gone into depression practically because they are left out. So welcome to my YouTube channel once more. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're new here. This is Nurse Regina Foundation and I'm always sharing health talk with you guys on different issues. And as today I'm talking about premature babies, the challenge the mothers go through, the long stay in the hospital, the overwhelming of this big experience. But it is worth it. This process is long. Two, three months in the hospital is not a joke, but the process is worth it. And so, as I was saying, the premature babies always are at risk of even getting a, a longer stay in the hospital because of the slow weight gain, because of maybe things that come up like infection now and then, uh, like 
uh, the small babies will always tend to weigh uh, to have the risk of that because uh, of the long stay and also the, the low immunity that they have. And so I feel like these mothers normally have a great, great experience, yes, but all the same it is uh, overwhelming. Some of them have no clue of how to handle a baby. Some of them have no, no clue of how to handle a baby or even nurse a baby because it is their first time a uh, baby and so they get so much overwhelmed, so much of, uh, confused about the whole state and with the nurses and the doctors, I'm sure they always give the support that they have to give to these mothers. And at the end of the day, it, it is a great experience when they go home with their baby. It is a great, great experience when they manage to nurse their baby and take them home. So it is always, as I'm saying, overwhelming, but a worth it journey. And so, yes, guys, uh, the premature babies, I would like also to mention that it, it is uh, can it can the babies can be the premature labor or delivery of such babies can be come about because of different issues. Uh, one of them or the major one is uh, preeclampsia or we call it uh, high blood pressure that is not controllable despite medication. Others can just be premature labor that started spontaneously and the baby decided to just come on that time at that time. And sometimes also it can be because maybe the rupture of membranes or the pouring of lycra or water has happened before nine months. And so this baby cannot survive inside without uh, amniotic fluid. So we find that when the scan is done, the amniotic fluid is less, as a less index. And that means that the baby cannot survive in such an environment. So the only option left for the doctor is to decide to deliver this baby, to save the baby, and also to to make the mother a happy mother because of that. And also it can be because of uh, bleeding, we call it antepartum hemorrhage, when bleeding happens before delivery, you find that just uh, pouring of blood spontaneously comes up and uh, the baby is at risk of surviving in such environment because at this point you know that uh, it is the placenta that has detached or has come out from its place and so the baby because depends on this placenta to supply nutrients to supply oxygenated blood to the baby the baby is going to de be deprived of these things once the placenta detaches from the uterus and so it is a risk factor to both the mother and the, the baby and it is going to be an emergency in such a case because the mother has to go for the cesarean section to be delivered and the baby is going to be saved from being compromised. So guys, there's a lot about these premature, premature babies. There's a lot about the long hospital stay. There's a lot about going home with a baby with, uh, with a small weight. And then you have to keep on feeding this baby to be able to grow. But eventually, trust me, these, girl, uh, these babies grow up and they become normal babies. Some of the ones I've seen over the period are now like seven years, six years, and they are uh, they are functioning normally, they are functioning just like any other term baby that was born. So just encourage a mother who is going through such a situation, encourage. And so guys, it's been interesting, it's been quite a session. There's so much about premature babies, there's so much about all this that I've been talking about. This has been your nurse Regina. This is Nurse Regina Foundation channel. Please, if you're new here, subscribe to my YouTube channel like my videos share and always come back to view my videos because we are learning and moving together with regina to make education worthy to make life worth it to make everything worth it so subscribe and always leave a comment to make me grow in the direction that you would like me to grow so bye bye